Welcome to the Hart Women's Basketball Media Day. Next up, we have Grandview University. We're excited to hear from the Vikings as they prepare for a new season. Um, let's start with introductions. Isabel, uh, please introduce yourself, um, name, hometown, and year in school. Uh, I'm Isabel Scheidel. Um, I am a senior. I'm from Wonder Lake, Illinois. Coach, how about you? Um, name and, and how long you've been at Grandview? Yeah, I'm Jasmine Storr. Um, I'm headed into my first season at Grandview. Coach, let's start with you. Um, talk to us a little bit about Isabel and, and her importance to your program. Yeah, Izzy comes with, you know, four great years of experience here. She's headed into her fourth season. Um, senior leader, um, got great minutes um, as a junior last year within a, a really um, experienced uh, team. And so coming back into her fourth year, I think it's a it's a great opportunity for Izzy um, to lead in, in multiple ways. You know, off the floor, we always want those leaders, and I, um, a lot of the players do talk to her, do you know, ask her questions. Are the she's the first one that they run to if they do have a question. We got we got a good group of freshmen here, so it's nice having a coach um, that's not a coach off the floor. Um, but then on the floor, capabilities wise, she she's a multi level scorer. She can go inside. She can shoot the three. Um, and then defensively, same thing, you know, we're going to use her on the perimeter, we're going to use her in the post. Um, so having someone equally as important on the floor um, is, is really great to have. Isabel, let's uh, get to know you a little bit. Um, tell us your major and, and what are some plans for life after basketball? Uh, I am a business administration major with a concentration in management and marketing. Uh, right now, um, I'm applying to get my MBA. Um, I'm applying just trying to get into some grad school programs um, around Iowa and elsewhere. So I'm just waiting on those, really. That's very good. Um, Coach, you took, take over a program that went to the national tournament last year, had a great season, has had some success the last few years. Um, what does this opportunity mean for you to, to take over the Grandview program? You know, we always we always talk about it being a privilege to be at Grandview. Um, I think it's a special place that has great, rich tradition. Um, but within this this program, even with the graduation, these players, they're they're resilient, they're hardworking, they get it done. I mean, no matter what challenge I give to them, they figure out how to get things done. And so being able to step into a program where that's, you know, there's already roots there like that is is a great opportunity. And then being a team within the heart such a tough conference known for women's basketball, I think makes it that much more special. Isabel, um, what has it meant, meant to you to, to put on that uniform these last few years and, and hit the floor with your teammates at Grandview? Uh, it's meant the world to me. Uh, my teammates are my best friends. Uh, we do everything together and um, I just go out there and try to make them proud, uh, try to make Grandview proud. Um, we have great fans too that makes it so much more fun uh, to go out there and, and perform for them um it's really just it's just they give us all the best support within the program and just like professors and everything so it's a really great program to be a part of awesome coach um you know how's preseason going what are some things you've liked so far from your squad yeah, I, I already touched on it a little bit, but no matter the circumstance, no matter the challenge, I mean, between early morning conditioning sessions, because that's when we can get our nursing majors going. Um, it's been 545 some days um, and we're we're running um, and to the court time now that we we get some court time. Um, I just know notice it doesn't matter. The senior down to our incoming freshmen, the effort level is there and I don't have to touch on effort. You know, I say, hey. Here's what we're doing. I hear a lot of the seniors, a lot of the juniors, a lot of those returners that got that experience, that got that national tournament taste. They're going, hey, you better be talking. Um, you know, one, if, if we're going at 6 a.m., you better be you better have the energy. And, and they bring that energy without me ever having to touch on it. Um, so I think that only helps when we do hit on the X's and O's and we do all that stuff that there's not me having to go back and be like, you know, are you going as hard as you can? Um, so I would say that's the best part of preseason is knowing that no matter what, they're going to give it, you know, they're going to give what they have that day, night in, night out. And then, you know, there's, there's some luck that goes into the game that we, we all dislike and like at the same time, but knowing that they're going to leave everything every single day out there for us. Coach, um, on top of, you know, Isabel, who, who also are some returners back from last year's squad that, that you'll have competing for the Vikings. Yep. You'll have Ella Larson coming back. Um, 
you know, we have Lauren Connery coming back. Um, we have a couple other juniors that received, you know, a little bit less minutes, but going to be equally as impactful. We have Madeline Danner coming back. Um, we have, let's see, Ellie coming back here. Um, and then we have quite a bit big class of freshmen and transfers that are going to be um, unknown um, to the to the NAI. Um, and then, you know, one we got a D2 transfer and then we have a couple big names across the state of Iowa um, as freshmen. Very good. Isabel, you know, you're one of the key returners back with the new coach. Um, you know, what are some goals for you on the floor, but also off the floor as a leader? Uh, some of my goals, um, honestly, just going out there and playing hard, uh, being a leader, but by example, uh, yeah, I do talk um, and cheer on my teammates, but uh, I, I like to lead it by example rather than just be vocal. Um, the goal is always to get to nationals, just always to get to nationals, taking it one game at a time, honestly. But yeah, the goal is, ultimate goal is always nationals. Isabel, you you know you've played in the heart. Uh, you're familiar with the conference, with the competition. Um, what's it like, you know, night in, night out, playing in such a tough conference? Um, it's tough. Uh, you go out there, you you do you do everything you can to prepare. You watch film, you scout, but um, just going out there and just playing hard. That's it's really all you can do. Um, I know a lot of the girls are also returning from our conference, so uh, being familiar with them um, and how they play was especially like helping coach understand like who we're playing against and knowing that kind of information. Uh, but it, it, they're, they're tough. It's a tough conference, but I think we're, I think we'll be okay. Coach with, you know, a couple weeks left of preseason non-con um, games before the heart, you know, as, as you progress through those parts of the season, what do you hope a coach store team looks like come heart play? You know, what I want is that, I mean, I've already mentioned it. I, I want people to have fun. I want them to enjoy watching us play. I want the energy. I want to get up and down the, the, the floor. Um, and I want that energy to, to, you know, almost be dissolved within the crowd so that it's, it's just a fun environment to play in. Um, you know, you might see some turnovers because we're going to play fast, but you know, there's a lot of, it's going to be fast and under control, um, containment of the ball, um, but I just want it to be a fun environment to play within. And I want them to enjoy what they get to do, um, which is play the game of basketball because it doesn't last for very long. So enjoy it with each other, um, but also play to our strengths. And um, I know I know the crowd will feel what I feel when, when they leave knowing that win or lose, they battled. They're gonna battle. Um, and they, they really do play, play with their hearts. And uh, wrapping things up today, uh, Coach, we've asked each head coach the same thing. You know, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear Heart of America women's basketball? Tough, tough. Um, there's no letdowns in this conference. It's a tough conference. And so we'll be prepared. Very good. Well, Coach, uh, Isabel, really appreciate your time. Uh, best of luck this season. And, you know, good luck as, as preparations get going for, for non-conference in a couple of weeks. Thank you so Thank much. You.